I'm Donna Ponapento, and I live in Gig Harbor, Washington. I'm Joe Ponapento, and I live in Gig Harbor, Washington. And, and this he, is Henry Ponapento, and he lives and in he Gig Harbor. And he sleeps in Gig Harbor, <laughs> Washington. Born in California, father in the military, uh, he was in the Marine Corps, and so I moved around a lot. So I consider myself from you know, wherever I lay my head at night, that's kind of where I'm from. I'm a New Yorker, <laughs> uh, I was born in the Bronx. <laughs> And uh, when I ran away from home when I was 19 to join the military, I wound up in Long Beach, California, where I stayed for 28 years, and that's uh, where Donna and I met. She was working at United Way of Orange County, and she got an offer to be vice president in Detroit, and that meant moving across the country and selling my business, and we decided to do it. That's when I decided to pursue what I had always wanted to do, was uh, creative writing. So I've been writing ever since, and have a couple of books out, and a bunch of short stories. The one that just came out in March, which is um, about a month ago, is a science fiction satire. It's kind of a hybrid mashup thingy. Being in politics, you meet a lot of interesting people. Um, so I basically just exaggerated their characteristics and wrote a story around it. And uh, that's where the satire comes in because you're talking politics, you almost have to satirize. I, I've read uh, a lot of his short stories and sometimes when I'm reading him, I'll look at him and I'll, and I'll go, what were you thinking? You know, who are you? <laughs> it's like, you've got quite an active imagination. Writers. <laughs> Hey, They're laughing? wonderful people. Then why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> We're just a little outside the mainstream, That's, let's put yeah. it that way. We think about things in a different way, which will ans which answers That's the true. question that you had back at the beginning of the interview is, who are you? you know, <laughs> who, how can true. you write these things? It's because we look at things in a different That's, way. That's true. We ask, what true. if? We look at things that people accept and we say, okay, but what if it was like yeah. that? What if it was a little bit different? So. Four and a half years ago, Donna decided she was ready to look for presidency. And I had done my master's work out here and always wanted to come back. So I told her, All right, let's look in the Northwest and see what happens. And sure enough, yeah. she managed to pull it off. And here we are for the last four years. But when I first got here, um, I actually was living over on the Tacoma side, and but didn't have a real good chance to, to look at a lot of the homes. And Joe was able to come out here a couple of times. I really wanted to be a part of a community, and I feel like it's getting that way. We've got a couple of people who've started kind of a social committee, and and we have a book club, and all of this has happened in, in, less, in the last year. So that's made it really fun because I've always wanted to feel a part of a community. You don't know someone's story, and it's really important for us at United Way is to be able to tell those stories because we have these misperceptions of what it means to be poor and what, you know, what does that look, look like? Uh, and it looks like, you know, the folks making our coffee at the coffee shop, the, the teachers that are taking care of our kids, you know, in daycare. I mean, it, it takes on, you know, college students just getting out of college. And, and so, and also too, I think what, what I've enjoyed the most is that it's really about making sure that we're in touch with the community. So this isn't about fixing a problem. This is really about how do you have the, how do you have people that are in poverty be a part of their own success. I'm excited about the work that we're doing. It's energizing work. It is. It keeps me up at night. <laughs> it is definitely uh, the community has embraced what we're doing, and you know that's you know that actually uh, is go going to make the job of trying to to turn things around even you know not maybe not easy but at least we know that people are walking with us. Most people think of us as that organization that you're giving money to and then we're gonna, you're giving to your favorite charity and we're gonna get it back out to your favorite charity and we're gonna get that money back out into the community. But we're really so much more. I mean, our whole mission is about how do you bring people together uh, to tackle the issues that communities care about. 
uh, those critical issues. And so we're, you know, we're a convener, we're a catalyst, we're a funder. Uh, I always think of us as kind of the great inviter. We invite people around the table to say, you know what, how do we tackle poverty? You know, our focus here in Pierce County is around lifting, uh, lifting households out of poverty, lifting 15,000 households out of poverty by uh, 2028. And you know, we know we can't do that alone. And so we know that we need to have the public, private, nonprofit sectors come together to say, what is our role in trying to address this, these issues? Because in this county, you know, even here in Gig Harbor, you know, there are people struggling every single day. You know, they're working two and three jobs and still can't make ends meet. It's not just in, you know, downtown Tacoma on the hilltop. You know, it is spread throughout this county. We need to be able to do something that's going to, going to make it a little bit easier for those families that are struggling to become more self-sufficient. And I believe, and United Way believes, that we can, we can do that. Uh, so that's kind of what we're um, about and we've got, you know, we're on this 10 year, you know, trajectory. You know, we may not solve it, but sh I, sh I am definitely determined to move the needle. I spend most of my time over on the other side of the bridge. When it's time to come home, I feel like I can separate, you know, I feel like, oh, you know, okay, I can leave everything over on the other side of the bridge and I'm home uh, and days like this. Go, you know, coming back over the bridge, it's like you're going on vacation. It's just so beautiful. When I'm home, I, I don't feel like I'm always on. Uh, and that's one reason for me being over here in Gig Harbor is, is nice. I really like the downtown area. It's it's very, um, you know, water themed. Yeah, and, and I like very, that too. Um, I don't want to say old, but it is. it has that, that character to mm -hmm. it. I mean, it's a, it's a great place to go to just walk around. Uh, get a bite to eat, get a cup of coffee. Um, glass of wine. Yeah, glass of wine, <laughs> yes, of course. And um, so we're, we're pretty yeah. happy here. One thing that I noticed as soon as we moved out here, people do seem to be nicer or more laid back or however you want to put it. Yeah, the summers here have been spectacular. Um, haven't really cared much for the rain, uh, but you get used to it. People really do come together uh, if there's an issue, and that I've really enjoyed. When you're in a larger community, uh, that's a hard thing to do. Now, I was able to, to do it in Detroit uh, around certain issues, and you know, I'm happy about the things that um, are still, there's still a lot of the work that I did is still going on in Detroit. But here I really think that if we can get, continue to get people around the table uh, to, to talk and to get to action, some things are actually can happen. My real way of meeting people is this guy down here who's taking a nap <laughs> because I walk him once or twice a day uh -huh. and over time I have met just about everybody in the neighborhood because they all love Henry. That's true. It's, it's funny. I mean, I'll you know all the, the dogs names. I know all the dogs names. <laughs> I, I know most of the people's names and I can't walk down the street with him without somebody driving by and waving and I'm looking in these cars and I'm like, do I even know you? I mean, but they all wave and I wave back. I could take him for a walk in, in Michigan and never have to worry about waving to anybody. Yeah, well, 30 years with United Way um, is, a, is a great, it's been a great career. I think we're, we're here. Yeah, At this I, part of the country, um, people who live here may not realize it, but it's still kind of a, a really well-kept secret of just how nice it is to live here. Just continuing to be a part of the community, to be a part of um, you know, the, our, the bigger community, but also too to, to continue to be engaged in this community, uh, our neighborhood. Um, as well, I think is really important. My wish list is, is to see, you know, how I can and how United Way can be more connected uh, to Gig Harbor.